for this session, I'll be going over how to use uh, the business central feature of recurring sales and purchase lines. And so this is a feature that uh, works for invoices or orders. So sales orders, sales invoices, purchase orders or purchase invoices. Um, and what that looks like is if I go to say purchase invoices if I go ahead and create a new one here um, we will notice that uh, there are no line items right now um, this is something we usually do manually or import from a purchase order Business Central actually has a feature that allows you to have a list of recurring uh, line items that you can either automatically import the moment you create a, an invoice for a vendor, or it's something you can pull from a list. And so to create that, and this, this goes for purchase and sales invoices, we'll go ahead and just do an example for a purchase invoice if I go to recurring purchase lines here I can create uh, a set of recurring purchase lines so if I click new here I can give this a code and so let's go ahead and say expense here we can give a description and a currency code um, now we can fill in the lines that we want to populate our purchase invoice. So if I choose a GL account and then I pick some expense accounts and you can have just one or you can choose multiple. How about rent expense and then we'll add maybe another one here. Maybe office supplies. We can assign a quantity to each line item as we would uh, when manually entering these line items in, in our invoice. So if I put one, one here, we can assign them different uh, dimensions as well. So I'll just put this as an example and this should automatically save. So now that we have this expense um, recurring purchase line, we can go ahead and assign that to one of our vendors. So I'll go ahead and go to our vendor cards. And let's go ahead and choose maybe a training customer. And from here, we can go to more options, related purchases, and select recurring purchase lines. Uh, and you'll see here that we have an option to choose um, codes that um, are created. And so we've just created this expense code. And there's a couple of options here. Um, and these relate to uh, the quotes, the orders, the invoices or the memos, and they default into manual. We'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and show you all of them. But if I choose always ask here on let's say invoices, we'll show you how um, this works. So now that I have training customer um, as uh, a recurring uh, purchase line, let's go ahead and go to purchase invoices. And I'll go ahead and create a new invoice and use our training customer vendor. Now that I've selected our vendor name, You'll see here um, as um, sort of a message line, it says recurring purchase lines exist. Do you want to insert them? So if I go ahead and click this, choose our expense, click OK. You'll notice that the lines we've created now get automatically inserted. Um, if you did, didn't say yes, or maybe you left it in manual, then you would go here, you would go to, so it would be under actions, 
functions, get recurring purchase lines. And we can see the expense line here and clicking OK here would do the same thing. If we go ahead and go back to our vendor. Now I'll show you what it looks like when we have that set to automatic. So if we go ahead and choose automatic instead, now if we create a purchase invoice, let's go ahead and exit out of this one. If we go ahead and create a new invoice and select that customer, You'll notice that it won't ask um, permission. It'll just go ahead and autofill the lines uh, that we've selected. And so again, this can be done for invoices, uh, quotes, purchase orders, or memos. And this can be done for both purchase and the sales side.